Hey, what's good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be doing a tutorial on the new mock-up feature in Illustrator Beta. So if you don't have Illustrator Beta, head over to Creative Cloud and go ahead and download that before we start the tutorial so we can begin. Okay, so this is revolutionary. With the new mock-up feature, you can drop in items, whether clothes, uh, products, whatever it is you're trying to market for your brand, and throw an image or a design on top of it, and Illustrator will do the rest, and it create a mock-up inside of the software. So we're gonna dive straight into this. Once again, if you don't have Illustrator Beta, make sure you go over to Creative Cloud. Uh, if you don't know where the option for it is, I'll show you right now. Once you open the Creative Cloud app, you will scroll over here to where it says beta apps and you will click on beta apps and you will see Illustrator beta. You want to go ahead and download that. Once you have that downloaded, just go ahead and open up a brand new document. It doesn't matter the size. Uh, I have my 2000 by 2000. I'm just go ahead and click, click create. Okay. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to focus more on shirts and I'll do another video for products. So I'm going to go ahead and drag in a few designs that I created in mid journey of some cool little, you know, uh, retro futuristic cupcake type things. I have one here in white and I think I'm going to uh, grab one in black. Now I've already been fooling around with this already and it's been working pretty good. But what I do notice um, is that on some some shirts. I would say mostly black shirts when it comes to um, the mock-up it doesn't it goes kind of dark I'll, I'll show you in a minute and kind of explain what I'm talking about um, also when you bring your design in if your design isn't already expanded into a vector file you're gonna have to go ahead and do that already so with your uh, graphic selected what you want to do is go over to your properties and you want to go ahead and embed the image first let me do that for both of them. And then you want to do an image trace so you can go ahead and trace the image. I'm going to just go ahead and do 16 colors just for the sake of the tutorial. Uh, we're not selling anything. This is basically to show you guys how uh, the, the new feature works. And after I trace both these images, I'm going to go ahead and drop in two mock-ups of two people that I have wearing uh, shirts. And we'll go from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do an image trace on the second graphic. It's amazing that they dropped this feature too because I just recently did a tutorial about a month or two ago about creating mockups uh, using mid-journey uh, images and using your products. And then lo and behold, they came and dropped this. It has me thinking, I wonder if they're watching my channel. That would be awesome, right? That would make me feel pretty good about myself. <laughs> All right. So now that we have those trace, we want to go back to properties and we want to go ahead and expand those images, right? As you can see, and we're going to expand this one right here. And I'm going to just click on my A button, which will allow me to grab the direct selection. And I'm going to go ahead and select this black background and just go ahead and get that out of there. And same with this one right here. Uh, but you know what? Let me back back and I'm gonna keep that black one because my goal was to see if How it would look with the black design on a shirt um, Which I'll probably end up deleting anyway because once you add the mock-up you can always go and release it and and uh, go back and make adjustments Moving further. So let me go and find uh, some mock-ups that I want to use as far as models Okay, so I have this guy here in the black shirt. Let me drop him in this guy working out in the gym Okay. Okay, so now that we have him in there, we're going to click embed, make sure he's inside the, uh, the project. All right, so I'm going to just drag this over here. Oh, excuse me. I'm going to select the group and we're going to move it above the model. Make sure he's on top. 
and we're gonna drag this over let me zoom in a little bit and I'm gonna go ahead and just take that background out because we don't need that all right and let me select the graphic again hold down shift and we're just going to size it to the size where we want uh, the graphic on the shirt and it's about right there another thing too also you can rotate the image the graphic so if it's looking a certain type of way and you need it to tilt go you can go ahead and do that so it, it fits the way you want before you go ahead and do the mock-up but I think this looks pretty good right here I think I'm gonna move them right there so with that selected you want to select that plus select the image of the model so just select both of them and then you want to go over to object and scroll down the mock-up and then you want to click on make once you click on make illustrator is going to do its thing uh, the algorithm is going to calculate some stuff and it's going to generate a mask and it's going to you know fit it towards the shirt it's usually not this slow um, it, it usually goes faster than this but I am screen recording this for the sake of this tutorial so keep that in mind and as you can see uh, it's like fit it to the shirt you can move it around and um, you can rotate it just by hovering your mouse like r next to the graphic and that's pretty amazing and you can stretch it out if you want vertically it's gonna wrap around the whole shirt so scroll it down a little bit and I think I probably want to rotate it a little more like that if you want to make it look a little more realistic you want to go over to your properties and you want to click on opacity and just drop the opacity a little bit it kind of blend it into the shirt now I do know on white shirts if you click on multiply it looks really good it blends in really well which is why I wanted to keep the black um, the black on this graphic down here at the bottom but now that I'm talking about it this makes sense now that you know I started off with the model with the black shirt because it's kind of explaining what I want to tell you guys so that realistic look that it, it looks like it's actually you know screen printed or you know uh, hot printed whatever whatever the terminology is you know the screen press uh, to put on a shirt it looks better when you, you click on multiply especially on a white shirt which I'm gonna do next on the next model but on the black when you click on multiply it does this it kind of like gets really dark and right you know you could try all the different you know blending modes dark and color burn you know it really doesn't just give you that look you want you click on screen I mean it's, it's kind of there you know but lighting looks pretty good I, I kind of found that to be kind of about the closest but um if anybody you know has found a better way and they've been using this so far let me know uh drop a uh some info in the comments for uh everyone interested in knowing but with darker shirts i found you know either use like normal or lighten and you know just drop the opacity and it'll kind of give you you know kind of that look which is kind of what i don't like you kind of wish in photoshop you could use the blend if and just like you know dark in certain areas and light in certain areas and have it blend into the the fabric but I mean that's still pretty decent for a mock-up the whole goal in my opinion is just to really get it to wrap around the product that you're trying to uh, yourself which is a win-win for me either way so we're gonna move that guy to the side and we're gonna find another model to drop into uh, the selection let's bring this young lady in now she has jewelry around her neck I created this image in uh, mid journey um, in my next video I'll show you how to remove that in Photoshop with the generative uh, fill which if you have been live haven't been living under a rock you should know how to do that by now but that's usually what I would do if I do create something in mid journey and it comes with like jewelry and stuff like that I want to create a mock-up because I'm trying to sell a graphic I will then I will go to Photoshop first use a uh, draw a mask around that and tell the general to fill AI to remove that jewelry then I'll save it then I'll bring it in the illustrator and then drop the mock-up on top of it uh, the graphic on top of it to create a mock-up either way um, whatever works for you right so um, so let me remove this black off of this dude and make sure I select him drag him over the model that layer all right and we're gonna 
go ahead and select this and drag him over here hold down shift and we're going to shrink this down to the desired size we want place it where we wanted to place it let me see how that looks that looks pretty cool I'm not sure sure what it'll do with the shirt being cut off at the bottom, but we're just gonna test it out and see, right? So we're gonna um, select uh, the graphic. Let me check my properties, make sure every, all right, everything's traced, and let me make sure this model is has been embedded. She has. All right, so I'm gonna select both of these. Then I'm gonna go to object and go to mockup and go click on make. And then I'm gonna let Illustrator do its thing once again. So this should, this should look pretty cool. Um, but once again, uh, just a heads up, it is going to be over the necklace as stated before. But uh, for future reference, just make sure you go and remove that in Photoshop first. Save the image, then bring it back into Illustrator, and then drop your graphic on top of that, and you'll be cool. So I think also once I uh, – because I'm going to do a separate video on products like, you know, glasses and – bags but i also want to do uh let me see we appreciate your feedback to enhance the mock-up workflow okay i will send it later i'm doing a tutorial right now so it did kind of come out wonky and i wonder it's because uh of the shirt cutting off at the bottom i'm kind of curious why there is a cut off on the right okay so there it is it was hiding it's still hiding so let me release this let me try this one more time Let's get somebody else in here. We're gonna do some troubleshooting, right? I only leave on a bad note with you guys. And actually we got a JPEG. Let me see, what is this? I have three different images. I got a PNG. I'm kind of curious. Let me throw it. I have multiple images in here. One is of a PNG, one is of a JPEG. This one here is actually bigger. Maybe that file was damaged. I don't know. Um but we're about to find out. So let me get my little dude over here again. And object, mock up, mate. If it doesn't work, I don't know what to tell you guys, but we got one to work. You guys see the process. This is how this is how you go about doing it. I promise you it's not, you're not gonna have this issue. I've done this multiple times already to promote some graphics I've done uh, over the last two weeks. So it might be just a bad image. I'm, I'm not sure why it's doing that. But um, at the end of the day, you guys see the process of how you go about doing it. You bring the images in. You make sure it's embedded. Uh, you make sure your graphic is, uh, yeah, see, it works. So I'm thinking it was just a bad graph, uh, a bad image of the female. So let me go back in. We got our little dude. So we can scale our little dude in. And if you can move him around. You see he's wrapping around the shirt. It's pretty cool. So if you go to opacity and you click on multiply, look at that. I mean, it goes straight. I mean, that looks pretty cool, right? I mean, it's blended directly into the shirt. And just think about it. If you bring this, if you export this um, and bring it into Photoshop, you know, with a few things like in the curves, you can, you know, work on the colors and amp it up a little bit now you can see the difference between like multiply and let me see darken darken looks pretty cool too considering you know the the light and where she's at you got to consider from a uh, photographer standpoint where the sun is she's getting backlit so um either way that looks pretty good um multiply looks great so you can do it that way or you can do normal uh let me see if it, is it selected all right, there we go. Let me click on this dude. I don't think he's selected. There we go. Boom. You know what I found out? You have to go actually to the grab. Boom. Click on him. There we go. Now we go to opacity. You got darken. You got normal. So you could do normal and drop the opacity. And that looks pretty good. Or I like multiply. That looks great. That looks great. So you got, you got this mock up here. And you got this dude over here. All right. And that's it. I mean, so now you don't have to go. Um, 
I don't want to say this because I, I might get a sponsorship with one of these guys in the future. But you know the websites out there that do sell mock-ups, right? Of you know um, that that come pre-made and, and they're already smart objects in Photoshop. You just click on a smart object and drop the image in there. Now you can kind of just go and do it yourself. You know you could go shoot your own self. You know with the cell phone or a camera or have somebody shoot you and then send it off to a graphic designer who's. Uh, you know, familiar with Illustrator and just send them the graphic. Well, like, you'll put this on my shirt, put it on my shorts, you know, whatever it is you're selling. And just like that, export it out, upload it to your spot on uh, Spotify, Shopify, Etsy or whatever. And then you can promote your product. It looks way more professional and it's more catered to you. And I will say catered because speaking as an African-American, I find it really hard finding like stock images as far as like mock-ups for black people. And this is not, you know, jumping off topic or anything, but I've been doing this for years and it's like really hard. Every time I want to go look for mock-ups, it's always Caucasian people. And it's like, it's hard for a black person to find mock-ups for black people. And now you can create them through mid journey. Uh, you can just go shoot your friends and family and, you know, outside some nice natural light around between, you know, uh, early sunrise between like nine and 10 and 11 or between like three and six. And then just go do it yourself and, and get the shots you want to promote it, you know, on a more professional level. So shout out to Illustrator and Adobe. I um, appreciate you guys for taking it to that level. All right. So that's my tutorial for the day. I appreciate you guys for watching. If you learned anything, you find it informative, you know, uh, like the video, you know, share it, drop a comment. Anything that'll help me, you know, grow the channel. Um, I'm really trying to grow the channel. So I appreciate you guys' support. And, um... I will start working on the next tutorial and I appreciate you guys for following me and you can check me out on TikTok at Mr. Mydell or Instagram at Will Mydell or Mr. Mydell. I'm on two Instagram accounts actually. Yeah. All right. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.